Hey, all your Universal Monster lovers. Today, I'm going to be reviewing probably your favorite mask out of the whole collection. The Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Gill Man. Mr. Halloween. Creature from the Black Lagoon. I personally have not really watched this movie. I haven't watched many Universal Monster movies. They're kind of a little outdated from when I was born. I never really had an opportunity to watch them. I still am going to do it. Because I am a fan of these masks. The whole collection is absolutely beautiful. And this is an incredible mask, as you can see. It's got a... Like an olive green sparkly paint job with the fish face, the reptile eyes. Just so everyone knows, this mask is extremely underpriced. This mask should be worth more than what they're selling it for at 60 bucks. This is easily a $100 mask. There's a, probably about a pound and a half to two pounds of latex in this mask. And there's tons and tons of details. The back has Velcro so you can tuck your neck in correctly. They pretty much set you up beautifully if you want to wear this out. Trick or treat into a Halloween party. Don't really know if you can get a lizard suit or what clothing you would wear with this. But the spikes on the back go all the way down to probably about 10 inches to 12 inches down your back. It would cover any t-shirt or sweater you put on. It could definitely hide your skin. But this mask is beautiful. I really can't compare it to, to any others because there's no other mask like this. Just clearly just an incredible mask. It looks just like him from the TV. Now, like I said, I have never seen this movie. It's something that's on my to-do list. But just this mask is really, honestly, a work of art. I don't know where you begin to make masks. This has to be one of the hardest masks I've ever seen that anyone can make. There's so much texture and details. There's the reptile bubbles on the neck. There's the fins on the, the side of the head. There's the spike going down the back of the neck. The paint job is a sparkly finish. Like I can't believe this mask is 60 bucks. This is worth every penny. I honestly think that Trigger Studios got it wrong pricing it this low compared to whatever everything else is going for. But Thank you, Trickers Restorers, for doing that. 60 bucks is well worth it. Um, it's extremely thick. It's very big. It's an oversized mask. It don't even fit my head. But as you can see, the Velcro, you can wrap it around your neck, so it would fit a little bit more comfortably. But I did see uh, clips and glimpses of the movie, and I could say that this guy looks spot on. Clearly, you know, watching that, you're probably a monster, uh, Universal Monster guys, and you know what he looks like. The eyes look like they're glass, but they're actually hollow. You can put your finger right through them. But I give this mask a 8.5 out of a 10. I give this mask a couple points off because of how heavy it really is, and it, it's really a sweat box in there. I wouldn't personally wear it. This is just strictly for me just to look at because it's beautiful. Any horror movie guy that collects anything should own this mask. It's only 60 bucks. There's no reason why you shouldn't want this mask. It's incredible. Whoever sculpted this. Russ Lukic. Amazing job, my man. But that's my review on the Black Lagoon Creature, the Gill Man. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, subscribe and catch you guys in the next video. Mr. Halloween.